How's it going everybody? This is Earl in Prescott, Arizona. Today I'm going to show you just a little about changing brakes. So yes, I know how to change brakes. I know how to, in the past I have changed the transmission. I have changed heads and cams, fuel pump, oil pump, uh, fuel filter, thermostat, and power solenoid and things like that. <laughs> Anyways, so this part is really simple. Um, pretty much you just take the tire off and then there's a couple bolts that are on the back of this right here and all you need, pretty much, that's all you need to do this. Now my dealership wanted to charge me over $400 to do this and this cost me about $40 for the brake at big brake pads and they're ceramic as well. So you just pretty much do that. You take this off. You'll use a, use a C clamp to put this in here to open this up. And it's funny because when you go there, they always sell you two C clamps. You only need one. And just to give you a little bit of history, you guys, I grew up in Tennessee from seven years old to 21. And all of my friends were into fixing up cars and souping them up and putting nitrous and things like that on them. So we always had a really good time. And I grew up, I started driving at 12 years old. So we, I grew up with a bunch of people that were speed racers and race car drivers and things like that. So we actually learned what not to do so that you could be in control of the car, like fish tailing the car on purpose so that you knew what to do if you were in a situation um, to get out of. In that, I, since I've been driving since I was 12 years old, I suppose that was 1989, and I have never had a wreck, okay, because of the learning experiences that I've had. But this is actually really, really simple. There are two pins right here. You have to keep track of that. These two pins will keep the brakes apart um, when they're not in braking mode. And it's pretty much just as easy as this. Boom. Boom, got it. These are some little clamps things that you, uh, right now I didn't even buy any extra. They, uh, they wanna charge 20 bucks extra for these two clamps. $10 piece, that doesn't even make sense. They're little aluminum metal things. And uh, I'm just gonna clean them up and that's about it. Um, I'm not gonna go through the whole video, but I just wanted to show you how easy it was. I pretty much am gonna use some brake cleaner to clean everything and wipe it all off. Right here's the rot rotor, and I'm gonna use a little bit of dust right here to like, you know, dust it all off. I pretty much already took the brakes off, okay? And the only other thing that I've gotta do is, there's some lubricant right here, and you pull out these things, like this, and I just put some lubricant on there, and I put them back in, and then I put some lubricant just a little on the ends of these so that the when they are braking when they're going back and forth and they're braking like this they're easy to go and it won't make a noise when they go back and forth when you're braking but that's pretty much it i'm pretty much just going to clean these up put these back on like this um, i'm pretty much going to put this back on here like this and i'm going to put the screws back in and that's it that is the brakes i mean it Literally, if you have all the preparation, it's going to take me about 15 minutes. But for this video, I don't want to do 15 minutes, but look how dirty I am already. But, you know, I just kind of wanted to share with you, uh, you know, I lived in Tennessee and I had fun driving at a young age. And my first car was a 91 Mustang. And I worked on that baby a lot. And then my second car was a 2007 Mustang. I got rid of the 91 Mustang. And then we started transferring to Hondas. This is my second Honda. I started transferring to Hondas because we know they last a long time. I still like Mustangs. I still like muscle cars. But this Honda right here is pretty much still a muscle car. I mean, realistically, you probably can't see it, but that is a muscle car. Um, not quite as like, like the Mustang, but but anyways, today I'm just working on brakes and just want to let you know it cost me 40 bucks and I, I'm not going to pay $450 for a half an hour, um, my, a half an hour worth of work. So 
Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll see you on the next video. Tell me what kind of cars you guys have been working on. And tell me what you've done to it. Have you souped them up? Or anything like that? Put in flow masters or whatever? <laughs> Let me know. Earl from Prescott with True Realty. We're working on cars today. Oh yeah.